Oh, I'm muted. You didn't hear my good morning, good morning, good morning. We're back to we're back to being muted at the beginning of streams. We're gonna close this door over here. We have the Jolly Roger behind us. Uh, today is a beautiful day, and what we need to do is focus on not being triggered when the GPU crashes. We need to we need to be at peace with the GPU crash. We need to recognize that 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 the GPU is bad, but. We also need to not be upset that the GPU is bad. We need to make the GPU better. It wants to be better. Um, I think I had more interactions with AMD and I, I think they just like, I, I don't think many times I I get angry and I just stop trying to legitimately communicate, right? Um, but you know, like like the prophet Jay Z said, moral victories are for minor league coaches. Uh, so that that's a great uh, advice to live by. So we we are going to make the AMD GPU better. And now for the people just, uh, for the people thinking, what about my tiny box? What are you going to ship? We are going to ship NVIDIA in the tiny box. This is my weekend hobby, not my day job. Um, we are going to ship NVIDIA because NVIDIA is a trusted, proven solution. But in the interests of the future, because, you know, we all have a shared future. I think, I think people often forget this. I think a lot of people are thinking, how can I get my bags before the singularity happens? Bro, bro, this is totally the wrong mentality. Like this isn't, you, you understand we're all in this boat together. And I'm not a communist. Like I'm not saying this from a perspective of, of like, oh, well, you know, we, we, if, if one person is suffering, everyone's suffering. No, I don't believe in that kind of bullshit. What I'm saying is we are all in this boat together. One of two things is going to happen in the future. Either humanity is going to flourish and expand out into the universe, or humanity is going to die, right? And we're all in that boat together. Even if you're black or white or Democrat or Republican or anything, except for a monkey or a dog, you are part of humanity. And we, we need to really recognize that, especially with the coming of AI, because really, you know, if, if humanity can't, can't stand strong and united, the AIs will exploit our weaknesses and tear us apart. And this is not even like, this is not an exaggeration. This is literally what's going to happen. Um, so, so we need to all work together for a greater future. Uh, and that's why, we, we need to learn to not be upset when the GPU crashes. We need to realize that the GPU wants to be better, okay? We need to give the GPU the benefit of the doubt. Uh, just like, you know, look, I, I'm putting all the pressure I possibly can to get AMD to open source this stuff. And it's not, I, I can't, people think that I think, oh, you know, it's a Twitter thing. Man, like people think, oh, I, I can fix it all myself. This is never what I said. I think that like, and I, I tried to explain this. I tried to explain this in my email back to AMD. I'm like, look, it, you can't give me private access to the firmware. I, I can't fix it. I'm not, I'm not a wizard, right? I think that if we open source the firmware, then we could start a process going with a lot of people who are very, very smart, who also have vested interests in fixing this driver. Right? We, we, have, we have, like I said, like the, you know, the whole people working in Tiny Grab, you think they're like full-time employees with IP agreements? Like, what is this kind of crap, man? Like, I'm not going to ask anyone to sign anything weird like that. Like, like let's, let's, let's all work together on the common boat of humanity to get the AMD GPUs not to be bad. Um, yeah, I mean, humanity is going to die either way, right? Like, you can't take anything too seriously. The heat death of the universe is real. Um... But yeah, I mean, like, you know, let's have a good run. Like, like, like we got to remember that, like, you know, eventually every boat gets torn down, you know, every boat that's ever built will eventually be dismantled. And I wonder if the guys building the boat think about that fact. Uh, so 
Uh, yeah, no, I, I hope, like, like, I'm trying to actually, like, explain this and not just be a dick. Sometimes, you know, that's kind of the, like, like, uh, you know, when, when people engage with me on a technical level, I'm happy to, like, give my absolute best. When people engage with me on, like, a business level or, like, a, well, they're getting trolls, right? And that's just how it is. Um, so, what are we doing today? So, what, what AMD needs to do to improve their driver... Yuri Solomon, our, our 10 tier sub gifter. You are the new hero of the stream. Ice Leo is, is the biggest hero always with 56 gifting subs. And Jervish is also a, a hero with, with 10. Yuri Solomon, do you have a question? You know, if you're a big time sub gifter, we love to answer your questions. Um, so, I'll, I'll, let's, let's, Let's write a readme here and let's explain uh, what, what AMD basically needs to do to make their driver stable. Uh, so the driver has this interface called KFD. Um, so you know what? We're going to explain things for noobs today because we're in a noob explaining. We're, 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 here to, we're here to bring people up, not mock people who don't know shit. Um, you know, you have to do a two-pronged strategy of both fat shaming and telling people that it's possible that they could be beautiful in the future. Uh, so there's this thing called KFD. Um, KFD is the is the API for um, for GPUs. So let me let me symlink this KFD into Fuzzer. Uh, I have the generate. Oops. Uh, who knows how to use LN? Wow. It, the, Sky is blue and it's raining. Sun shower, there's a word for that. Uh, if they open their drivers, a lot of people who have interest in making them better could chip in. Yeah, exactly, right? But it's not that like the driver itself is open source. It just turns out that the driver isn't really where a lot of the uh, you know bugs are. Um, so. You have this layer called KFD, and KFD has has this API. Uh, let me in tiny grad. Uh, I, I think I just added it to the main gen script. Yeah, generate KFD, right? So th there's this file called uh, let's simulate that guy in here too. This is file called KFDIO control, uh, and this is this is the API for the uh, AMD driver. And one thing that's awesome about it, that's way better than Nvidia's, is look how simple it is, right? You saw us do the Nvidia one if you watched the stream uh, from Friday night. Oxidized bytes, thank you for gifting subs. Welcome, um, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, remind me today, we're going to, we're going to try to raid Lana Lux at the end of the stream. Uh, I, I was too angry at the end of the last streams. I got triggered by the GPU being bad. Um, and we need to just accept people for how they are, uh, including GPUs because GPUs are people too. So this is, this is the API. I love how simple it is. Um, so what we found yesterday was a repeatable crash. Uh, so fuzz dev KFD should never ever crash GPU. Okay. Uh, make fuzzer increasingly more sophisticated until it doesn't crash GPU. Okay. Never ever not on a small computer not on a big computer not in a car not in a bar right you know you know you ever you know those things um how much of the driver complexity is also to work with graphics uh yeah so a, a lot of the driver complexity is to work with graphics um kfd might only be the compute api uh, this API might actually not even be for um, 
for graphics. I don't think it is. I don't really know how graphics work. I think there's like lots of other stacks for that. I, I don't, I know a lot about GPU compute. I know very little comparatively about GPU graphics. There is the other, there's the DRI thing. Um, so yeah, we have, we have DRI. Uh, yeah, my, I have two, the two GPUs I have in this computer are one NVIDIA, one AMD. Um, so we only really care about making the compute stuff good. So I think the first thing we need to do is figure out how when we trigger that crash to uh, re successfully reset the GPU. Um, let's go nice and slow with this. Let's run driver. And actually we also have, we have great debugging stuff here. This, this, so we can enable this. That's gonna give us lots of crap to do. Oh, wait, wait, I didn't even run anything. It already crashed. I didn't even do any. Ooh, ooh, we are, we are, we are at peace. We, we accept that the GPU is shitty. Um, but we are at peace. Okay. Okay. Every, every time the GPU crashes, one minute meditation video. All right. All right. Close your eyes. And we'll take a few moments to calm your mind and body. Soften your face. Your neck. And shoulders. Do your best to fully let go. And turn your attention to the breath. The calming breath. The soothing breath. Take long, slow breath. Full and deep. Tamara. Okay. So let me explain if you're, it doesn't matter if you're using rock M or open CL or anything you're using. Um, it might not even be using dev KFD, but it is definitely using the same underlying firmwares that are running on the GPU. Uh, so it's not like people are, I, I saw a bunch of suggestions where people were like, uh, why don't you just use Rock M? Why don't you just use Torch? Why don't you just use HIP? Why don't you just use, you know, the, the problem is really deep. So let me, let me like explain. We're explaining noob stuff to people, okay? So you have your application, uh, you have your user space driver, you have your kernel space driver, and you have your firmware, and then you have your hardware. Okay, so TinyGrad is now here, All right? So if you're using like PyTorch, it's up here, right? Uh, well, let's even, let's even go further. You have your application library and then you have your application, right? And so, so TinyGrad has, TinyGrad is a user space library, but it's completely bypassed the user space driver. Um, so we're at the, what we're fuzzing is here. Right. This is where we fuss. I like I sometimes like forget that a lot of these really basic things are not uh, like explained to people. Like I don't know how much I don't know how much like 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 AMD executives understand what I'm what I'm saying. Um I don't know, maybe they I, I don't know. Like it seems, it seems weird that like people like don't. I, I don't know. And this is this is the, this is the magic. This is another like the magic of Elon. Like I, I think he does if he puts any effort into it at all. 
uh, understand you know what's going on so yeah this is where we need to fuzz um, so dev kfd is exposed by the kernel space driver um, so the kernel space driver is open source uh, we can go in here and we can bring up the kernel space driver here so the kernel space driver is actually not just open source it's a little bit better than open source it's actually upstream in the linux kernel uh, which is cool So let's, let's try our crash, but let's comment out the Wiley loop. Or let's just throw a break in there. No, we don't want to. We can change this, whatever. I should probably copy it for the fuzzer because I did promise that this was like a. I, I, I posted I posted this on Twitter as like this is a crash. Uh, did I put anything in fuzzer.py yet? No, so we'll just put it in fuzzer.py. Uh, so we're in fuzzer.py. Uh, let me actually also, well, we'll get to that in a minute. Okay, so we're, we're opening KFD, we're opening the render, we're opening that. Let's run it without the while loop in the fuzzer. And let's see if it hits. Looks like now it's just hanging entirely. Um, did we even try any IO controls? Okay. We say opened dev kfd. Oh, okay, so we have a way to write to reg issue. So note that we're hanging somewhere in the fuzzer right now. By the way, if you're curious where things are hanging, we can always go into Python and take a look. We can gb attach dash b to that. Now we just sudo gb attach. Um, okay, it looks like gdb can't even attach. Yeah, we're probably actually hanging in the kernel, that means. So now, like. Okay, okay, okay. We finally, it finally stopped. Oh, okay. It was frozen at this open. So let me kill the process, exit here, and let's break this out. Open, uh, start, open KFD, Yeah, the AMD driver is upstream in the Linux kernel, but the problem is most of the actual interesting work and where all the bugs lie are in these uh, these firmware things. Yeah, uh, like there was a good there was a good one, and I, I, I linked it to them. And like maybe this stuff starts to like. CUDA is still a giant moat for NVIDIA. Um, isn't GeoHot infamous for stealing other people's work? Yes. Have you heard of the Oompa Loompas? I went to Loompa Land. Oh my God, that could drive me nuts. Uh, but we're not getting triggered by comments. We're not getting triggered by, by everything. By, by anything, no, no getting triggered today. We just have to accept that we live in a shitty world 
and we're going to do our little part to make the world a little better. Um, yeah, it's basically just people complaining about... You, you can read this and like... I like this one. The problems you generally experience are inexplicably poor performance, poor and sometimes incorrect documentation, difficulties debugging, crashes and hangs. Um, so what's funny about this is this is all their user space problems, not th these, these two are the ones that we need open source firmware and open source debugging tools to address. Um, yeah, I mean, maybe they're only really capable of thinking about it in terms of money. And like, maybe it's just hard for them to believe that there's actually a whole group of people out there who will just make things good because they can. Okay, so we're in some state, it opens K, oh, here we go, okay. Okay, so it recovered that time. So we're back and we can run and it creates the queue. Okay, now let's add the while loop back. Oh, but that time it didn't even open, right? That time just trying to open dry render caused the crash. So it's in some bad state where just opening render causes the crash. You often get this. So let's see what it's doing here. Um, so I also, one of the things that, that, that I said in my email was that I felt kind of duped by like, you know, look, they did say they were gonna open source the MES, but these bugs are not in the MES. This is like, a, it's, like a, it's like a total kernel panic and they're open sourcing like one small part of it. It seems like right now, like the entire GPU is just in some state where, um, you know, it's just it's just broken. Okay, so let's see. Fail to write reg. Oh, I like that they look a little different, so we can figure out. Okay, wait reg. Okay, so we're here. We're in failed KIQ. Um. In AMD GPU vert. I think there's also a way that we can, okay, so like it eventually kind of did something. You know what, let's just try, let me add that break in and let me try running it a bunch of times and seeing if we can just crash it just by doing this. No, but see, okay, wait. So first off, oh no, I'm in crash. No, no. So that's the problem. Here in fuzzer, let's add break and let's see what happens. Okay, so eventually we get an IO control error on create queue. Let's just try running them one at a time. Okay, that worked okay. This is also opening and closing the, the GPU, so it's not like staying open. Uh, so we know what the SMU is here. The SMU is the system management unit. Um, so yeah, it, it boots things up. Then here we go, it uh, sets like the frequency and style. Was it closed correctly? So, I mean, we could add the calls to destroy the queue and deallocate the memory, but you shouldn't need to do that. 
Um, so it, it's not the... I think that another thing that may be kind of like lost in like context here is... And this is like to anybody who does any sort of kernel development. There's no bad actions that should be taken in user space that can affect the kernel. So again, to explain things in a very simple way, uh, systems are designed to be multi-user. I'm in user space right now on an unprivileged account. I'm not running this with sudo. Um, these things are available to anybody who's capable of, of, of basically launching applications. Uh, so yeah, the, like anyone who can run, if you can run a basic application that uses OpenCL, uh, the sound is raining now, uh, you, you are accessing these things. So there is no bad action ever in user space. No bad action uh, in user space should affect other users. Okay? So this is this is the like if I have two users, I'm SSH into this computer as Kafka and you're SSH into this computer as as uh, uh, you can be Nietzsche. You're SSH in as Nietzsche, I'm SSH in as Kafka. Kafka shouldn't be able to fuck with Nietzsche. They they should be completely separate and isolated. The kernel is supposed to ensure that they behave the same way. So it doesn't matter that I'm not calling destroy queue. When I destroy the process, it should properly free all the resources. Okay. So notice how sometimes it takes a long time here, but if we add a watch to like rock MSMI, If I add a watch on this, it keeps the GPU. What? Oh. If I add a watch on this, it like keeps the GPU open and available. So let's see if we run it now. What happens? Okay. So that's notice how much faster that is. That's at a hundred and sixty four ms instead of a thousand ms because we don't have to do the full power on. Okay, and we hit the crash that time. So. It seems to start with a page fault. Um, so one of the things that we need to do before we can consider, uh, is there any way to get info from the firmware? Yeah, I mean, that's what we're gonna have to look into, right? So part of the problem is even if we find a crash, uh, they, they release no information on the firmware, so you can't disambiguate uh, what crashes what. So, okay, this is GPU reset succeeded. Let's try it again and see what happens. Is watch still hitting on that? I think that might have frozen. No, no, maybe that's okay. Okay, let's run it again. Okay, now see, this is a different failure. No, actually, maybe that's the same. Maybe that's identical. Oh, um, it's a little bit different. You see how here it says, the the Q creation failed. So it's just overall in some very flaky state right now. You see, this is why these things are really hard to debug. So you know when you pay attention to detail, look here how you got a page fault after the Q creation, and then you got an MES error. Over here, uh it doesn't even maybe Q creation didn't even happen. Or I don't even see that stuff about the ring buffer addresses, right? So we can we can take these two um, we can take these two D message logs and we can put them uh, put them next to each other. So probably as our fuzzer gets more sophisticated, what we would want to do is um, is uh, like automatically capture D message, store it, and try to triage these as separate issues. But okay, let's see if we can find any information about like what firmwares are running. So th these firmwares are running on some kind of uh, microprocessors inside the GPU. It would be great if we could get like PC or anything about their running statistics. So let's take a look in kernel debug and see what we can find. Um, 
Racing events aren't gonna help us, but these things might. So I don't know what like AMD GPU error SDMA does. I'll show you there that it's just W. Do I have logic probes on my GPU? No, we're, we're not anywhere near that level. Um, so let's take a look at this ring and like, can I, can I, okay, look, I can look at this ring. So that cat just works. Uh, but this isn't really what I want. Oh, oh, GFX off. It gave all those issues with uh, okay. Good to know that the name that the sizes are not actually okay. Regs SMC. Okay, this is interesting. So, what's the SMC? Do I have that one? It's not the SMU. What's an SMC? have that acronym? We can probably look this up in the driver here. Read from an SMC register. System management control. I mean, you're just guessing, bro. Like, uh, what's an MQD? Oh, a memory queue descriptor. Okay, so memory queue descriptor of the MES. PM info. drawing so much why why oh look at this okay so you see that my GPU is at a hundred percent but when I else saw KFD yeah there's nobody connected to it uh, what's the other one let's take a look at that too so yeah th this this seems like when it gets into the bad state uh, we can detect the bad state with You are so boring. Well, yeah, I mean, this is this is what actual work looks like. You know, when you're when you're standing like an idiot looking on the whiteboard, like. Um, but we're 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 being we're being educational, right? If we want things to get better, we have to put are triggered yeah his name is boosting my adrenaline that's true we, we we have to not be triggered by the gpu crashing we just have to accept that gpus suck um, okay so i'll notice that the gpu is at 100 percent right now let's see if we can reset it and get this out of 100 percent um so the first thing we'll try is just removing the module and putting the module back in. So we, we got all this stuff working from before. Um, and it's cool that you can actually do this. Well, actually, let's go one step at a time. Let's first remove the module. Okay, so when we remove the module, we got a crash. Um, which you can't always expect modules to be removed cleanly. But I think when the GPU is in the bad state... Okay, so now notice how there's no... Uh, there's nothing there. Let's see if we can reinstall the module. Oh, something's spinning at 100%. Oh, it's just plugged in, okay. Okay, no. Okay, now we're getting a kernel bug. Oh, and now we've panicked the whole machine. Okay, so. Uh, 
Have I thought of signing NDAs and working for Radeon? Why would I do that? Right? Why, what, they're gonna pay me an AMD salary? Like, I'm not interested. Uh, I, I think that, like, uh, honestly, again, this is not about what I can do. Right? I, I'm, I'm a somewhat capable person, but am I capable of fixing all of the bugs in AMD's driver, especially across all of the GPUs? No way in hell. Like, it, it's going to require uh, thought I was done with AMD. No, Tiny Corp's done with AMD. T Tiny Corp is switching to NVIDIA. Um, I'm not done with AMD. I, unfortunately, am an addict and a masochist. And that's why I continue to work on this. All right, so let's see if the computer's going to come back. Um, It would require a Jim Keller level reorg. Well, not necessarily, right? Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, I'm not capable of fixing, and I don't know anything about how to fix problems inside of an organization. I know how to fix drivers and make them good. I know the processes that will end up yielding a good driver. Um, can I increase audio gain? Well, it's quite low because I'm not yelling, okay? We're, we're trying to be a reasonable person today. Reasonable person. I'll move the microphones a little closer. No, but now I can't see the chat as well. Okay. Uh, it's a bit hard to hear. Okay, let's, let's see what we can do. I don't have this new microphone. Gain, 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 gain. That better? There we go. Now we're hitting the yellow. Um, they don't need better engineers. What they need is better middle management. I'm not sure what they need. Again, I, I'm not a I'm not a company fixer. I'm a code fixer. I know I know how to fix. I know what what. Uh, yeah, just hang on till it crashes a few more times. I'm sure the audio game will be fine. Okay, so it looks like the computer broke in such a way. Um, that you have to actually hard reset the computer. So when you do a soft reset of the computer, which is what happens after a kernel panic, uh, it doesn't always reset the GPU fully. So it seems like the GPU is in a really bad state. We're gonna have to go here, flip the power switch off for the computer. Wait 10 seconds. And then we can turn it back on. Uh, we forgot the minute meditation. We don't have to do it every time, only if we get triggered. Uh, well, if this stuff happens in a data center, so this is a consumer grade box. Um, the advantage, uh, the, the tiny box is a server grade box. So it has a BMC. Um, meaning that you have an out-of-band way to reset it. You saw me reset Tiny19, a uh, Tiny13, using that out-of-band method yesterday. Um, so you can do this. You can do that exact same thing I just did from a BMC, but it's a consumer-grade box, so the only way to do it is to flip the switch. Um, so it, I mean, it's less of a big deal in the data center. It's just you can do it. You can do it remotely in the data center. They, they put the they put basically the switch on a remote. <laughs> But yeah, I, I don't know what they need and I can't fix their organization. Um, what I can fix is the driver. Jim Keller seems uniquely capable of fixing organizations, at least to an extent. Or at least working within dysfunctional organizations. Like me, I would just get triggered by it. Okay, see, oh, okay, okay, the computer's back. Okay, now we have a very good working GPU. So let's reconnect. Now we reconnect here. Reload window. Okay, um.
So we go back in here to fuzzer. Again, we're not really fuzzing anything, but okay, so let's let's do this slowly a few times. Let's see if we can trigger the issue. So we run that, and it seems okay. Let's also put our thing to do all the printing. Try that again. Seems okay. Try that again. Oh, and now, okay, on the third time it crashed. Uh, so we got through a GPU reset, but that doesn't necessarily mean anything. So on the third time that it crashed, we hit this page fault error. Um, what we probably wanna do is start documenting these crashes and seeing why sometimes it behaves differently from other times. So like we have this full uh, print log here. So let's, let's see. After right pointer address. There we go. So, oh, it might, uh, it might be after it enabled GFX off. GMC process interrupt 19 callback suppressed. Uh, okay, do we know what the GMC is? Do we have the GMC? GMC CPU, GMC process interrupt, okay. So we don't know what the GMC is. GMC? Maybe, I think that's probably worthwhile because it's interesting that before the crash happens, you have a failure with the GMC process interrupt. I don't really know what 19 callbacks, oh, 19 callback suppressed probably just means that it was in some state where it couldn't trigger the interrupt. Um, yes, we're doing unpaid QA. I, I think that they, they don't believe that anyone will do this for free. Many people will, and it would be much nicer if we had documentation. Um, graphic memory controller, do you have a, do you have a citation, citation needed? So I do generally believe you. Okay, graphic memory controller, cool, you're right. Um, so it looks like it gets into some state, but that's pretty fast. Okay, so now we have a page fault at zero, like it's trying to read from zero. Uh, I mean, my doorbell pointer is zero, so it might be the doorbell pointer. But, but again, uh, my, my point is no matter what I do in user space, I should never be able to crash the GPU. And AMD seems very fuzzy on this principle. You, you cannot develop a good driver unless you completely embrace that principle. Nothing user space ever does should be able to crash the system. Um, okay, so now we get to uh, MES failed to respond to message three. So, what, what I didn't, again, why I felt duped, AMD did tell me and did give me a long timeline for when they were going to open source the MES. But what I didn't understand until I actually started looking at this driver was this is not the problem, this is a symptom. Ice Leo, welcome. Thank you for gifting subs today. Um, so what this basically means is the whole GPU is fucked. So let's see if we're seeing the behavior where, um, you know what, I just saw that. Let's put this in user local bin. So then I can just type rocket SMI. 
Okay. Unfortunately, now I see nothing when I do rocket mass MI. We should have S traced it. No, our DNA, okay, so cDNA is a spin-off of R. So now we're back to this failed to write reg thing. So it seems like even though it thinks it reset the GPU, it didn't actually reset the GPU. Um, unfortunately, I think we're back into that same bad state where if I remove the module, it's not gonna help us. Okay, this did eventually boot up again after it failed to write regs. So it eventually went, and notice how it doesn't say there the, okay. We're not in the place where it's saying 100%. So it might actually be in more of an okay state than it was before. Let's take a look. So we can try an RM mod and, a, and an ins mod again. So let's remove the module and see if we get a crash. Uh, see if we got a crash. So, so this is this is annoying because like now the whole kernel is kind of in a bad state. Um, which again, removing a module doesn't actually have to be a supported operation, right? Um, and it, here's how we can distinguish what should never crash the kernel for what it's just kind of okay to crash. Like not okay, it's not great. But if I'm using sudo and I crash the kernel, it's a lot more acceptable than if I crash the kernel without using sudo. Um, so this isn't actually a kernel crash, this is a GPU crash. Uh, so what happens if one reloads the firmware? Uh, so it is reloading the firmware, I believe, every time. Um, the problem is here, if I reload the module... Oh! Okay, it looked like even though it crashed, it managed to reload the module and it seems fixed that time. So even though it hit this crash in DRM MM takedown. Oh, okay, so it does look like the GMC gets into a bad state. Okay, so let's try this again. Rock MSMI at least seems reliable. Let's quickly S trace Rock MSMI and see what it's doing. So it's reading these sysclass DRM. Oh, this is also another place we can look for stuff. Um. This isn't in the kernel debug. Is this stuff accessible to user? It's readable by user. It's writable by root. Um, oh, that's cool. Wow, I can actually look at all the AER errors there? Oh, that's amazing. Let's check out Tiny10 and see if there's any AER errors on it. Why doesn't that one have AER errors? Okay, this is probably a different version of the driver. So the driver that I'm using here is actually the driver in upstream Ubuntu's, uh, you missed 10 Tensorance ten SMI? Yeah, how nice was Tensorance SMI, right? Um, so again, what I'm looking at here, it, we can look in firmware version. Yeah, this is just, this isn't really showing me anything. Okay. All right, let's run this and see what we get. So one run, seems okay. Oh, I'll also note that after I reinstall the, uh, the module, I have to redo that. So let's try one run, okay. Another run, okay. A third run, 
causes the crash. Okay, so it actually looks like it's repeatable on the third run that this causes the crash. Um, let's see how we can recover from this crash now. So do we have any indication that we're in a bad state? Uh, let's run Rock MSMI. Okay, so I think now when I run Rock MSMI, we get into this bad state again, where even though it thinks it reset the GPU, it didn't actually because it's gonna hang and then eventually give that register write failure. So uh, what AMD should release, uh, again, part of what's very frustrating is that they, they are not, I understand, look, I was mostly like baiting when I said open source all your firmware by the end of the week. That, that, that's obviously like a completely unrealistic uh, thing for them to do, but it's hopefully the start of a place, the start of a negotiation. Um, there's definitely things they can release, documentation on this GPU that would help debugging issues. Um, if they're not willing to release anything, they've released nothing, uh, they, they just show that they don't care. And yeah, I mean, if they don't care, it's not going to get better, right? They have to care. And Lisa Sue's words that she cares and the team is all in don't mean anything to me because that's a free action. You should judge somebody by the cost of their actions. If, if they were to actually, you know, yeah, okay. Fail to write reg. This reg. What is this reg? Um, one can disable the MES. I've actually tried that. It doesn't seem to do anything for GFX 11. That flag just seems to do nothing. Uh, it might work for GFX 10, which I think was the one where they introduced the MES, but I think on 11 it's required. I'm not totally sure about that, but I did try the flag and nothing at all changed. It's also, it's not the MES causing this issue. I'm looking at this issue now, and it seems to be much more related to what, so probably my guess is what's happening is that one of the GPU hidden uh, firmware is uh, page faulting, all right? Like something is being passed in. So probably there's other levels we can fuzz at too. So right now we're fuzzing at the KFD level. We're not even fuzzing, right? This isn't fuzzing. I have a repeatable crash. I can just run this program three times uh, and it hits. All right, again, yesterday I was very angry. So I was just putting things in while loops and other while loops, oh, it crashes, oh, it crashes. But it's interesting that you run it three times. And if you only run it three times, it's still in this somewhat recoverable state. So it seems okay right now. Uh, like you can tell because it says GPU 0%. So I think we're gonna get the exact same reproducible crash right now. We run it once. Oh, well, that time it only took once. Okay, I take it back. Um, maybe it is a race condition. Right, the, the fact that like, again, remember when it, we had to run it three times? So you're always looking for patterns like this and then you kind of like put all these patterns together and you're like, oh, I now understand what it is. So it is interesting that now every time I see this, it's prefaced by this page fault, um, which is a GPU page fault. Let's, let's actually look at this. So let's see what we are. Um, okay, so ring 40, VMID 8, pass ID. Uh, so it's clearly starting to, it's, it's, it's a null pointer exception. Uh, and this seems to be where the problems start. This stuff is just a symptom. It's not actually the root cause of the issue. Okay, so let's see if we can repeat the pattern. If I run rock and SMI, it's gonna hang for a while. It's eventually gonna spit something out about a register, but then the third time I run it, it seems okay. Um, we're also going to try after we get the GPU back, we're going to run a tiny grad example on the GPU and we're going to see if that works. And maybe it's just the way that I'm using this, or maybe the GPU is actually totally in a bad state. Uh, so no, it's not always exactly three. 
Um, let's also look at what this error is and see what we can find out. Like it would be great. All right, well, let's just look in the kernel. Uh, so we're in the GFX hub, but do we know which GFX hub we have? Probably 11.0. See, this is where this is where we need documentation, right? You have this address block, and that's great, but what actually is this thing? Um, more fault, Walker error, permission faults. Fortunately, there's a lot of them here. Which which one is actually the one causing the issue? Um, For this okay so it's one of these GFX hubs do we know which GFX hub is running no we don't how do I like figure out which one it is Oh, look at this high-quality copy pasted code. Um, VCN firmware log. Uh, so the VCN is the uh, video core next. I don't think that's gonna help us because that's not where the crashes are. Um, so we do have some documentation on that here. Uh, this is the video core next. It's the encoder decoder. Um, so I don't think it's related to this. It looks like it's related to memory. Uh, by the way, where is the GMC? I mean, the GMC might actually not have any uh, have any firmware. Uh, what's the GFX hub? Let's see if we can find documentation on that. Constant GPU crashes in Arch Linux. Uh, late last week, one night, I came home and felt both my screens. Whoa. No, you see, he added something and it seemed stable, but then on Monday morning, the crashes return. It's an AMD GPU driver. There's just so many issues, and unfortunately, a lot of them. Well, here's another issue from me. And someone quoting Lisa Sue again, and absolutely nothing has changed. We might need to meditate again. We, we might need to. We might need to meditate again. Um, okay. Well, so apparently, the only thing the GFX hub does is crash. Everyone battle hardened to the world of Vulcan and DirectX 12. Know that debugging is ridiculously hard once we enter the domain of crashes and hangs. No one wants to do it, and seeing a random GMU GPU crash show up is enough to want to quit graphics programming and take up farming on a remote island. <laughs> That's how I feel. Um... Oh. Okay, this is interesting. What's a UMR wave dump? I don't think this is actually going to uh, going to help us with this issue, but it's interesting that this does exist and this might get us into user mode register debugger for AMD GPU hardware. Interesting. How did I not know about this? Very cool. Let's try it. Um, is it written by AMD? Written by AMD. Okay.
It's even for 2024. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's nice. Okay. Uh, well, I hope that it works on... Let's just search the word Navi. Navi 10. Come on, Navi 31. Nothing on Navi 31. It might be okay. Let's figure out how this thing's working anyway. Uh, okay. Limited support for driverless debugging. Performance tracking. It supports hardware from, oh. I mean, that's. Tools open source and located here. We can use the mailing list to support them. They don't need PCIe access. Ooh, it has a graphical front end, great. Um, what's PCI access? Is it a library? I don't know about this, cool. I mean, it makes sense. There, there's a lot of way to like access PCI. So, uh, okay, built UMR. Let's install this. We're probably gonna need to do That's fine. Unknown ASIC should be added to PCI DID to get proper name. Is that the, like, when I ls PCI it, is that the, like, ID? Do these things have IDs like gear, like USB? Uh, oh, let's see what options we got here. Let's, like, try print vBIOS information. It seems relatively inoffensive, and we'll see if it works. Okay, cool. Wow, this, this tool looks pretty nice, actually. That seems like something, anyway. So top. Wow. Uh, oh, I said let's try a let's try a tiny red thing. I like that. First, and anything that creates an ASIC model. So, are all the registers documented in here somewhere? I mean, that'd be really cool. Like, maybe there are register documentations and we just don't know about them. Oh, look at this stuff database IP. up to date. I think this is the interesting one. Yeah. Okay. UMR is very exciting. Once we calm down and stopped being angry, we can we can find things. So this is this is cool. What's in here? It's janky, but that looks like all the registers. Can 
Now some documentation would be nice. I bet you that they don't even know this is open source. Like you've already released all your register maps. Can I have documentation for them? Look, that's actually really awesome. Um, what is a SOC 15 file? Yeah, unfortunately there's not a Navi. What's an essay sec? What file is this? Navi 10. Navi 31. I wish there was Navi 31. Let's take a look at the commits. Take back at decoders. You know, I don't know, like the, the, the real the real way to uh, approach these kind of things is not to like I mean it's just it's just like you're, you're just engaging with clown shit on Twitter um, you know I'm sure if I reached out to these people but also do we really need their help we should just read the code I mean this is what I always say don't don't waste your time engaging with like companies just engage with the uh, with the products. Okay, source lib read mes stream. This is interesting. Do oh, I trigger that? Let's play with more flags in UMR. Why do they? Why do they just? I'm getting calm, I'm getting upset again. Why, why do they respond with clown shit? Why don't they respond with, well, George, you can actually hear, you can debug this using this. Um, this regs requires one parameter, GC. Interesting. What's RLC? We should know that one. Uh, run list controller. Is a run list like a DMA thing? Another microcontroller in the GFX compute engine. It handles power management related functionality. The name is a vestige of old hardware. <laughs> HDB is a collection of hard, HA6 collection of hardware blocks. We refer to these as IPs. Each IP encapsulates certain functionality. The graphics memory controllers. Dedicated IP on older pre-Vega chips. So AMD chip timeline. Oh, AMD GPU. I should kind of know these by now. Like I know all the NVIDIA ones off the top of my head. Okay, so Vega, pre-Vega, okay, good, good, good. 
So so yeah, the, the current ones are Navi 3X. Um, about the GFX hub, you found some stuff about it? What do we got? I'm telling you what it is. Um, right here we have the following major IPs. Uh, since we become dedicated, it's become somewhat decentralized on Vega and newer chips. We can now have dedicated memory hubs for specific IP. We still treat it as a single component. It's how the different IPs get the stuff. Okay. So we don't have on the GPUs. We know about the PSP. Wow, this is pretty good documentation. I've been on this one before. Um, The CP microcontrollers, ME, PFP, CE, and MEC. The, I mean, these, these are the most important things that we need to give, make open source. Why the hell is the useful documentation so well hidden? I have no idea, but it's actually pretty incredible that that one file, uh, IP, uh, no, where, where'd it go? They can't take it away from me, it's on my computer. Um, this one. This is, so let's see if we can get this to dump. Uh, print CPC register data, dump an IB packet. This tool's amazing. Is there a way that we can get like crash dumps? Oh, here, we can list, oh, we can list blocks. All right. Oh, this is sick. How did no one tell me about UMR? <laughs> Stop being angry. We start finding our path to the truth. So can I dump the registers from that now? That's LB. List regs. Pretty cool, guys. All right, so let's see if we can figure out which one's crashing. Uh, so we're, we're definitely selling the green tiny box. Um, I, I only feel comfortable selling the red tiny box. I think our, our threshold for selling the red tiny box 
is once we get it to the point that we don't see any crashes in our in our data center uh, for a week. Uh, what? What do you want? What are you wanting about? We found UMR. So it looks like that's not actually reading the registers. I think that's just an offset. I mean, what's interesting, so look at these MES registers. Oh, Misa, Misa Amane. What is GP0? Let's, I need documents on this now. Cool. Uh, so these are pretty clearly not uh, not the values. Oh, actually, are those zeros the values? I don't think so. What's up with all the zeros? Uh, to work after GPU hang? I think it will be. Let's crash GPU again. Okay, we crash the GPU. UMR still works. I mean, UMR is still gonna work because UMR is actually just like raw reading the registers over PCIe. Even though the kernel doesn't seem to be able to. Oh no, it's not reading them. No, that's actually not reading any registers. Never mind. That's that's a completely user space thing. Let's try P. No, see if we actually try to do anything. Never mind, it can't. Wait, what? Okay, maybe it can. I don't know. Um yeah, so that's just listing the registers. That's not actually... <gasps> Wait, can you use O bits to list bit fields? Oh! Wait, how does no one know about this? I mean, some docs would be nice, but this is great. Let's reread this. Let's read more of this blog post because this guy's great. Okay, UMR needs to do some pretty deep kernel poking, so permissions will be required. Uh, if you're on a multi GPU system, it's possible that AMD GPU won't be joined at zero. That's fine. Oh, we're going to do some crap. Rad V. What's Rad V? Oh, that's okay. That's that.
This is so cool. I can dump the waves. Does NVIDIA have this kind of stuff? just one IP block. We can also dump the registers for all these other IP blocks too. I mean, GFX is the most interesting one. But like, here's the SMU. Let's see what we get. We could write some stuff to like compile this into a decent... Are there docs? I just... No knocks though, there's just names. <laughs> Still, names are are so good. Oh man. Everyone in your life, when you stop being angry, good things will come to you. So what we really want to do is create a user space GPU driver. I mean, this is probably enough documentation to do it. I may not need anything else. So I have a theory that we don't, we could just bypass all the firmwares. I mean, okay, that's okay, no, that's a little crazy. That, 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 that's a little crazy. Like we, we need, yeah, I mean, having the firmwares to be able to recompile would be ideal. But the firmwares are just reading and writing from these registers. Um, okay, so what's CPC? Do we know what CPC is? It has registers. No, we might not have a CPC in there. Oh, here we go, we have a CPC. Do we have CPC? Oh, well, the faulty UTC IO client ID was CPC5. Um, all regs are memory mapped? I believe so. I mean, it, yeah, it's, it's just in a... Uh, Scan and print an IP block by name. Oh, yeah, here's all the values. All right, cool. Bro, how fire is that command?
wish there was an actual way to reset the GPU using this that's like the low level. <coughs> it's fun. It would be much less annoying if like every time we could reset it, but it just interacts with the kernel driver in too complex of a way. Write a value in hex to a register. So we really can just write all the registers. You can use options, use color. Oh, color sounds nice. I'd appreciate some color. How do I enable use color? Oh, option. High frequency. Wait, this is this is tens torrent tier now. <laughs> Why do they not release the good the good GPU SMI? Now dump the blocks on the diff. Yeah, 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 we can totally do that. Uh, so that's probably smart, yeah. Okay, so now we have the registers. Uh, regs pre-crash. Okay, now we crash the GPU. Now let's see if we can get regs post-crash. This is kind of interesting here. You code address, you code data. But we also probably would just want to check like how many of them just change even unrelated to the crash and exclude those. So yeah, what we probably want to do is write like a Python version of this that's, that's actively monitoring for register changes. And then every time we crash the GPU, we can, uh, we can say, yeah. Support O bits, by the way. Oh. Doesn't work right now. We're in some bad state. We're in some state where it can't read the registers now, but it does come out of the state. Just have to put a little bit. Uh, oh, I should disable automatic GPU hang recovery. Yeah, how do I disable that? I, I saw that. It's in it's in like sysd bug. What do you say? Later, sure. I'm always interested in later. What? 
You want to go now? I know you want to go now. But... Alex, we just discovered a treasure trove of AMD documentation that not a single person in nine months of talking to AMD was like, bro, the registers are already open source. It's called UMR. Stop being a noob. To be fair, I was a noob. I didn't Google enough. It's not your fault. Google's really bad now. No, it's my fault. There's no excuse. There's no excuse. Uh, are you gonna punish yourself? I don't know. By not eating for the rest of the day. Sorry, I can't go to Rubicon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I'll set it to zero. I understand. Uh, all right. Okay, we're back. Let's remove the module. We get a craft. Oh no. Oh no. What's it in use by? That. How's it in use? Okay, sorry, we can't remove the module now. But I think, can I just like set GPU recovery? Isn't it in? I think it's a hot flag I can set. Is showering is the software any good? Actually, kind of, yeah. I mean, it's already zero. Is that the same thing or is it something different? That isn't it, you can use it to reset the GPU. Okay, fine. Uh, well, if we want this, we have to reboot. Is it worth it? Yeah, it's probably worth it. What's it in use by? Also just, I don't know why you, you also want to give me like a tree, right? Can it? Um, Alex wants to go get sandwiches. Should we go with Alex and get sandwiches? No, that's not it. You're right. Um, all right. Well, we'll 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 reboot for this. Add it to module parameters? Yeah, I can add it to module parameters. We can arm the mod and put it back in after the reboot. I always forget what's in module parameters and that things are weird. Don't be naked on stream. Wanna go get sandwiches? Semi shit written by like PMs. You know, why don't they say that like, well, here's actually what the crash was? Okay, we back. Uh, let's create a new directory called Reg Dumps. Um, So first things first, let's disable the recovery. Oh, do I say AMD GPU dot GPU recovery? I think I just say GPU recovery equals zero, right? That's how mod probe works, right? Okay, 
So how to actually go about this? We dump the regs into reg dump one, reg dump two. Let's just take three. So we can filter out the ones that change all the time. Now it's going to stay up. Let's hit the crash. So let's go into here. It's not really a fuzzer, but we'll run it once. No crash. Run it twice. Okay, we got the crash that time. Ah, GPU recovery disabled. Okay, sweet. So now we're in the bad state. Uh, what? No, why did it? Why did it do that? write a compare tool. Uh, good equals reg dump one. It's interesting that it eventually comes back. Wow, it's actually just better with GPU recovery disabled. GPU recovery is a scam. It, it was the auto reset that was, uh, that was causing the problem. All right, I agree we should just add it to module parameters. I added the module parameters to tiny box too. I mean, it was the resetting that was actually causing the jankiness. I don't know how it comes back now, but this looks way more reliable than that other stump. All right, for f in good, uh, open f read. Zero. Uh, all x equals a bit for x and ss. Uh, not all exclude. So we have the ones to exclude. Uh, or bad is actually only one, so we can say bad sub zero. Uh, for reg in reg x in uh, if x continue reg should be right. Okay. Oh, and let's also compare it to the good. We want to check if they're different. Uh, if reg g not equal to reg b. Okay. Less useful than I thought. Um, the only interesting line there is this one. So if the IMU breaks, we still don't really know what the IMU is.
lot more different. Uh, we should probably take some. Okay, that time it didn't recover. Interesting. It's so weird. It recovers better without GPU recovery enabled. GPU recovery looks like it's causing problems. You can't find any registers for the MES? No, no, there are definitely registers for the MES. Here, these reg CP MES registers. Um, I think it's actually because the MES is part of the CP. Yeah, so the MES is part of the CP. Um, it's recovered now. Let me take some more good dumps. Also, just to see how many are excluded. So these really are all different than when it crashes. I mean, whoa, here, look, here's all the MES ones. Here we go. The MES GPs are totally different. We have a GDS protection fault here. I guess the other crash, I guess it didn't really capture right on the crash. Reset vector, RLC reset vector. Okay, so it's hard to say exactly what happened then. Um, I mean, I didn't think this would be easy. So we also have, there's that other cool thing where we can print the, uh, the bits. Let's see what's happening here. So that bit is nine. Let's see what bit nine in the context stat register means. No, that just says which contexts are active. Okay, that's not that interesting. Mac DC op control. Cash. Okay, that's not that interesting. Um, what's the MEQ stat? Pointers. MES doorbell control.
8 is being set. So that's DSW workload. Damn. There's so much complexity here. This is cool. Oh. This, this just... Just knowing that I have this makes me feel so much better putting time into AMD. Like, sure, I... The thing about when you're asking someone for documentation, like people frequently think that we have like the secret documentation for OpenPilot. I promise you there's no secret documentation for OpenPilot. It's what a couple guys know. And like, you know, asking for someone's time is a big ask. Um, but the main thing I was really like, the thing that I knew AMD could give me tomorrow was a register map. And it actually turns out the register map is open source. We just didn't look in the right place. Uh, well, it's not the GC10. GC10 is RDMA, uh, sorry, RDNA2. There's an ASIC that implements the the firmware that AMD is talking about is not ARM or anything like that. It's just ASIC bit streams. No, no, no. It's definitely not ASIC bit streams. It's code. Um, the code, we can look at the firmware. Like we can, the firmwares are all just here. These are the firmwares. Uh, so there is a microcontroller running in each one of those things. They, even they talk about it in, uh, man, when I was working on the PS3, I had an internal wiki where I documented everything. Not this. There was there was another one that was better. No, not PS Dev Wiki. I had an internal wiki. I ran Media Wiki on a computer. <laughs> um. Oh, you're a contributor to PS Dev Wiki. Cool. You know, I'm not allowed to. Uh, am I even allowed to, to 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 think about this stuff anymore? I'm not sure I'm allowed to think about this stuff anymore. But you know, now we we work for the 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 good. Uh, no, I can't even go to PS Dev Wiki on stream. <laughs> it's been it's been a long time since I've thought about this stuff. It's been a long time since I've like, like, it, I, I, I just, I love this stuff so much. You sit down with a new complex system. Um, you just like dive into it and you read and you learn so much stuff. There's so much to learn in doing this. Uh, I, this is, this is, this is re-motivating me to work on, on Tiny Box Red. This is currently unused. Okay, it's a little out of date. Let's find a not out of date one. Actually, I should just be able to look in my kernel. I think that's just in my kernel, right? Uh, oh, hey, Greg. Making an AMD GPU bug debugger. Pirated trap handler. Interesting. So this is running at the, I mean, these are running on the RDNA. Uh, this is running on the RDNA chips themselves. IV. So this, this, again, look, we're being noob friendly on this stream. Uh, so I can show you what, there's like a diagram that kind of shows you what these things are. Yeah, so this is this is what you can think of. The this is this is like the GPU, right? Um, 
So these compute units are running the uh, these compute units are are containing the RDNA processors. But I'm not trying to debug those. I'm trying to debug what's running in the firmware. Um, VCD, MCD. Interesting stuff in this blog post. Let's force the wave to trap. Now it's hard to get the host. Host in the trap pad right now. On the host, we wait for the wave to be caught in the wait loop. We use UMR to stop the ring. Yeah, I, I mean, so I'm sure there's ways to... Uh... Oh, to stop the ring. Yeah. Wait, but this is amazing. Like we can we can abstract this probably all pretty simply into Python. We'll be able to detect everything from this. have to do the green tiny box I mean this isn't this isn't a shippable product yet but I think I think now we're gonna do the red tiny box too I think we're just gonna do both this is this is exciting and appeals to wait we are we, we have flipped this changes so much this changes like everything we, we are we welcome welcome to my bipolar adventure we are How did we fix AMD? UMR. Okay, there's this open source tool called UMR. Called the user space register debugger. Inside of UMR, inside database IP, we have access to all the registers in the GPU. The open source shit by the end of the week deadline was met. It turned out it was just always open source. How did no one just say this? Do they know? I don't know. This, this, just, this just makes me... This just makes me skeptical of, like, companies. They clearly didn't... I don't know if they didn't care. It's just weird. Like, why not just say, like, like, fuck off. Here's the open source shit. Debug it yourself. I, I don't think they did understand what I wanted. I wanted documentation on the GPU. This is really good documentation. I mean, it's not, okay. Did AMD open source it? Not yesterday. This has been open source the whole time. I just didn't know about it. Well, I know it has to, when, when is that blog post from? 
right? This was a blog post put out in last in last uh, August, so it's definitely been open source since then. Okay, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, it's just it's a lot better than what we had yesterday. It's not really good, I agree. Um, but like, it, it, it's it gives a whole new level of feasibility to doing this. While like documentation on what the GRBM W buff busy is, they may not have documentation, but this they always had. It was made public about two years ago. Why was this just... You read it in the docs folder. Oh, in this docs folder. The actual process, look, I, I mean, yeah, that's like, I knew this existed. I'm not sure that any documentation beyond this exists. So I, I'm not trying to ask like, I don't like to like ask others to, you know, like, like have to put in effort. Why, why? It's just so confusing to me. Twenty seventeen. Alright, I should have just sat down and read the mailing list. Tom Dennis is our hero. Apparently a software developer for an open source graphics group at AMD. <laughs> Level of dysfunction, man. source a lot of stuff right like they 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 open source their their gpu driver but i thought it was much more like we open source the gpu driver and like we open source it in such a way that you are absolutely hopeless to fix any issues no it looked like it was 2017 that's like seven years ago now What we can do with this is write a fuzzer and disambiguate issues now. And learn everything about GPUs along the way. What's more amazing is that the repo is up to date. I, I know. If they delete it, if, if they delete it, that's really just the worst sign. They're not going to delete it. 
I bet it's actively used for Steam game dev. Yeah, probably. But this is this is all the register maps of the GPU. This is all I wanted. Only make use of IP cleared register definitions. Whatever. I mean, it's not like there's only five in here. It seems like like all of them. I don't ask for all regs. I don't care about the, uh, I mean, yeah, you don't see anything in here. Well, that's the, that's the GFX. So, I mean, we can see which, which IP blocks do they have that aren't released. Uh, we don't see anything about the PSP, but yeah, I don't care about that one. Uh, GFX is released. Where's SDMA? I'm sure SDMA is released too. Here, LSDMA 600. I think that's SDMA. LSDMA is different. Yeah, LSDMA 6. Those were the two I asked for. Jesus. What do you mean it's better than nothing? This is, this is like... Wait, this is literally everything we need. I mean, no, 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 okay. Oh, the, the, the uh, well, no, like, it's not like this is gonna happen overnight. This is a start. Also, I mean, the firmware is not open source, which is annoying, but not insurmountable. Especially if the firmware starts being open source. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care about HDCP. I don't care about platform security. The signing, if you're letting me peek and poke any registers I want, I'm sure the signing is, uh, you know. <laughs> all right, all right, you wanna do some injection attacks? Sorry, sorry, not attacks. We don't attack our partners. Some injection pen testing. Um, Do you know how much I would love this for the Qualcomm chips? Uh, so wait, hang on. So we have, let's, let's run compare. So I think I can, can I poke that register? You wanna crash the MES? Let's crash the MES, so let's see what happens. Qualcomm would never share something this useful. Uh, right, let's ready register. We write to GP. Uh, let me put this in watch so we can keep the GPU. 
There's also there's a better way to turn our GFX off. No, why would they open sourced this? It, it, it's just it's just dysfunctional. I didn't steal this. This is not like a leak or anything. It's it's open source by AMD. Okay, what's in mess control? I mean, I don't know. How do I... So here, you want to halt the mess? Let's halt the mess. crash right away because no mess oh no that's probably just because okay look create type q0 fail 5 okay red 5 because that's because we halted the mess now let's unhalt the mess uh, what was mess control in the good dumps c let's see Just active some of the pipes. That just means pipe zero and one are active. Okay, we still have error five now. Okay, so just writing not halt to the mess doesn't unhalt the mess. But I think we can try, where's that GPU recover thing? Oh, is that writable? No, um, but that's cool. So let's consider something now. All right. I think the most obvious explanation is that they just didn't understand what I was asking for. I think the second explanation is that there's a hardware bug that we're going to find. I think the third explanation is, it's probably the first explanation. No, I want an open source firmware and I still do want open source firmware. But like, again, I, I don't know. All the registers are documented in this UMR thing. While the firmware is closed source, all the registers it reads it, you can observe its behavior by looking at these registers. I mean, look, writing our own firmware is a project well beyond feasibility. Uh, no, I know it's most likely incompetence. I know, I know. Um, writing our own firmware is, is, is well beyond uh, yeah, what we can do. But 
we can at least find out where these bugs are. I, I, I still want the firmware open source. Let, let's not get too excited. If they, but, it, but the firmware doesn't need to be open source tomorrow. If there's like a plan over the next year to get the firmware to be open source, then like we're in luck. Uh, wait, so that AMD GPU recover, huh, did it do something? That looks like the old crash. Okay, the zero two thing is gone. Now I know we're back to rec five. Well, now I messed with the MES. But this is interesting. So DQM create Q type. Have I seen GPU open tools? Yeah, I'll Wait, are we going to walk to get the sandwich? We know that. What are they saying? Uh, oh, yeah. I, I mean, I know there's user space debugging tools, but the problem with the user space debugging tools is, yeah, they're, they're, they're targeting the, I mean, these, these pro bugs that we're hitting aren't in shader execution, right? We're not executing any shaders when we spam create queue and stuff. Um, yeah, but what we need is a, what we need is a fuzzer. Well, we use a fuzzer, but now we can reasonably write a fuzzer. If we have a way to recover from bad states and we have a way to read out registers. You guys, it's an hour round trip to the sandwiches. I don't mean it's 20 minutes to eat the sandwiches. How many, how many people are watching right now? We have, we have 1,360 people watching. Yeah, I'll leave you here and I'll go get the sandwiches. George says sandwiches don't taste as good. Can you guys tell him that if you want him to say that they taste great when someone brings them to you? But it's so early for a sandwich right now. What are you talking about? By the time we get there, it's gonna be almost twelve thirty. All right, all right. We're gonna we're gonna go we're gonna go get sandwiches. Um, I did a lot of streaming this weekend, but I, look, I don't even know I don't even know what to what to say about any of this. Uh, I think what we're gonna do is. Uh, we're gonna sell green tiny boxes and red tiny boxes, um, and put some warnings on the red tiny boxes. You know, AMD GPU blobs are most certainly signed. I mean, well, okay. You know what? No, 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 no. I mean, I want to see a path. I understand why they can't just click open source on the repo. I didn't understand why they couldn't just, I asked explicitly for register maps. I couldn't understand why they couldn't just click uh, 
open source on the register maps. But apparently they did. Uh, but yeah, I mean, having this is just so much. We have so much flexibility now to actually fix these problems. Um, yeah, I didn't think that any of the debuggers would have. No, if there, I mean, if there's a bug in architecture, yeah, maybe it's fucked. Um, but yeah, I, I'm. I don't know. I'm just I'm just kind of confused. Uh, whatever, whatever. This was open source the whole time. We have registers. Uh, we can. I mean, we can we can reasonably write a fuzzer. What what my ask is what my ask is is a path to open sourcing the firmware, and like an understanding of how crazy important writing a fuzzer at your kernel layer is right I, I know i know let's not no 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 we're gonna yeah we want a timeline for the firmware to be open sourced and we want i don't want a private timeline i want a public timeline for the firmware to open source be open sourced which is pretty much the last thing which is pretty much what i asked for um but the open source regs are a starting point like, I literally said in one of my emails, I'm like, what do I do when this thing crashes? I have no way to debug it. Why don't you just reply with, here's UMR. You can dump all the registers in the GPU. Also, I will point something out. We can say, George, you know, you're dumb. You, you should have looked around a lot more. But we had a thousand people watching this stream. How did no one else find this? How did no one else say, George, all the registers? How did no one on Twitter reply with this? How did no one on Twitter reply with, yo, all the registers are open source? This just makes me deeply question the world. How much, how much is just right in front of you and you can't see? You see uh, Glass Onion Knives Out? You see that? that? That's kind of a movie that's, that's like, like, who knows what's right in front of our eyes. Um, because people use Twitter for shitting on each other. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta really, I gotta, should I just delete my Twitter account? What if someone mentioned it, but I ignored it? I don't think so. I read most of the Twitter things. I mean, I don't think anyone said. Hi, Alex. Are we? Are we? Can, we, can I say goodbye to the stream that you're rushing me off of? You're, you go back. No, I'm not going back today. We're gonna we're gonna eat sandwiches and then we're gonna go to work and do real work. Subscriber mode, blocked idiots. <laughs> Every time we turn subscriber mode off, we get, we get the, you're exposed to the unwashed masses of humanity who don't have $5. I wanted to message you yesterday, but I didn't want to pay $5 to sub. Exactly, we're not exposed to the unwashed masses. Wow, you know, Alex, with $5, how much, how much Burundi can we buy? <laughs> Don't tell them about our secret plan to take over Burundi. <laughs> Literally, guys, if, 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 if you have like a couple hundred million dollars a year, you can own Burundi. Um, Twitter was good to pressure AMD. Okay, so AMD, what we want is a... Is a uh, okay, now, there's a lot of stuff that isn't open source yet. Again... I would love it if someone could just send me an email and point me to the repo. Is this architecture documented anywhere? Why are you stealing ten dollars? You'll find out later. What do you need ten dollars for? You'll find out later. Why often do you come in here and steal my money? Only in front of you. You know about it. You can have the ten. Are you stealing twenty now? No, no, just a one. Oh, all right. I, I don't think. I just. Wait, are you stealing ten dollars to sub to me on Twitch? No, that is a good idea. No, I want to buy some chips to eat sandwiches. What? Why do? You, is there like? Uh, you know, chips at that I like at the. Where are you gonna buy chips with dollar bills? You know a place we've never been. Where? To the, to the convenience store across the street from the sandwich place. I didn't even know there was a convenience no, store across the street from the sandwich it. place. What kind of convenience store? Oh, well, you'll see. 
What kind of crucial things are publicly documented? Yo, you think we can find like... Wait, all government stuff. There's so much. It's all public. You just have to be willing to go through it. Damn. Wow. Imagine when someone builds a good search engine with AI. It's going gonna, it's gonna to change the world. They're already using AI to like read redacted documents. It's unbelievable. This is, this is, this is white pilling content for humanity. I was, I was feeling bummed yesterday. I was feeling bummed. I, I think Kim.com tweeted like it's over and like that's just how I felt. We know it's over. No, but maybe it's not over. Maybe, maybe AI, like is that, maybe there's just some government document that says I like- I tried to convince you of this a few weeks ago and wait, you shit all over me. You don't think there's some government really document that just says, here's how we killed Kennedy? The government document that says, here's how we did 9-11. The government document that, you know, we can find Stanley Kubrick's... I don't Kubrick's, think we did 9-11, but I think we knew a lot more about it. Than we can we find Stanley Kubrick's contract for the moon landing. Yeah. Um, 20,000 years of this, seven more to go. Um... Hawaiian organ donor named McLovin. All right. Uh, yeah, we're, we're done with we're done with streams for the weekend, but we're ending things on a positive note. Uh, that was loud. UMR. UMR. It turned out the whole time the registers were open source. Look, this still isn't really enough. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Open source firmware. Let's see some open source firmware. Uh, let's see a plan to open source the firmware. Um, documentation around these registers would of course be great, but th this is enough to kind of make me feel okay shipping the red tiny box as like really a developer platform. Like you really want to get into this stuff, buy the red tiny box. You want it to just work, pay the $10,000 video tax. Everyone's paying the video tax. Well, if you want it to just work, but if you're a masochist who loves pain, you can buy the red one. Linux users. It's for Arch Linux users. It's the Arch Linux edition. Alex knows about Arch Linux. <laughs> is this the firmware? No. The firmware is not open source, but having registers is so useful for actually debugging anything. Um, this is like the bare minimum. Yes, this is the bare minimum to make me want to not throw all these GPUs in a big eBay shaped trash can. <laughs> <laughs> But don't worry, we bought the eBay trash, shaped trash can just in case. We did, we did, we did. Um, yeah. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep up my advocacy efforts for getting the firmware to be open source. We're doing advocacy. With the capital A or the lowercase A. You know, like we could we could like like imagine we started using like leftist style advocacy tactics, but instead of advocating for diversity inclusion, we advocated for open source. I'm sorry, but Hackers first of, all, first of, all, of the world unite. Maybe open source is inclusion. Open source is inclusion. You heard it here first. I mean, DEI is just, you know, <laughs> open source by its very nature of being inclusive. Uh, that's, well, if only it was actually, it actually meant inclusive like a normal person means inclusive. This caused a great misunderstanding between Curtis and I one time. Ah, the Department of Defense? What's, what's up with the Department of Defense? I mean, yeah. Remember that time we defensed in, in Iraq and defensed in Afghanistan? We do a lot of defense. We do a lot of defense, yeah. That's right, that's right. We defensed against that Iranian guy. Um, not if you demand greatness. No DEI. No, we, 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 we embrace DEI, guys. And you know I'm a progressive, right? You have to embrace DEI and you have to embrace progressivism because you don't want to be a conservative. You know this. Because you know why? Conservatives always lose. But the thing is, DEI can mean absolutely anything you want, right? Like, to, to go against DEI, you're against the grain of history. To be pro-DEI means you're in favor of history. And that's why we should elect a dog to Congress. There's nothing more diverse, equitable, and inclusive than making the first dog congressman. 
What do you think? I think more people would vote for a dog than you think. I think the dog can, like, you know, 35 in dog years. Yeah, dog could be president. That's right. Well, do you think they're going to, like... DEI, the Dog Education Institute, right? That is how we... You know, you really want to fight against this stuff? This is how you fight it. I'm just thinking about the logistics of having a dog as a representative. I mean, yeah, I don't know. We'll have to, we'll have, to have a committee to study how the dog... Do you think we could put one of those like brainwave readers on it and interpret the dog's thoughts? I think that that's a bit intrusive. We're trying to treat the dog like a dog Maryland, the same can, like, as no, we're trying to treat the dog the same as everyone else. I mean, we'll have to, Alex. This isn't for us to decide. We need a committee, mm-hmm. and we need funding for that committee. Should we get a schedule a phone call? Phone calls, phone calls. Why do they always want to do phone calls, man? You ever called anyone? <laughs> oh yeah, let's get on the phone and call somebody. <laughs> we got to do a meeting. <laughs> um, yeah, don't be speciesist. That's right. And we believe, you know, we believe in progressivism. You got to be a progressive. You can't be conservative. Open source, uh, you know, everything. Hack the planet. All that. Um, I don't know. You know, when, when you're when you're in an abusive relationship, you see one tight, tiny glimmer of hope, and you think that everything's gonna be better. But you know, you know never. That's gonna... a key feature of. I know. Of, of an abusive relationship. I know, guys. I'm in a, an abusive relationship with GPUs. <laughs> 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 yeah. That's just a dynamic you have, George. I know. Yeah. As a um. Do you want to do you want to do you want They can't see you. As a defiant pro, I I look like the Unabomber. That's right fine, bro. They love the Unabomber. We... Tell, I had eye surgery, so I I have to wear sunglasses inside. I um, want a chair. Well, you can. Yeah, that's a problem. What do you Oh, a seat from here. <laughs> Welcome to the George and Alex show. I put this on because it's extremely windy outside. Uh, yeah, it was windy last night when I walked all these years. I'm sad I couldn't go. You, it was a great walk. Do you want to tell them about Burundi? No, 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 no. They, they, well. Is that not safe for the stream? No, I mean we can like we gotta we gotta we gotta approach it in an inclusive way. We gotta approach it in a in a, in, a, in a nice way. Okay, look, how much did I get paid a day? How okay, much did I pay a year? The average person in Burundi makes a hundred and eighty U.S. dollars. A hundred and eighty dollars a year. So three thousand Burundi. So, uh, what are they called? Burundians? We'll call them Burundi pesos. <laughs> oh, no, but pesos. you can't go off that. Like, Their largest like, bills like that's, a ten. Yeah, yeah, 10 no, 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 no. I'm just saying. Okay. The like, let's say like a software engineer in America makes 180k. Mm-hmm. So you can have one American software engineer or a thousand Burundians. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 65 percent of their population is under 20. Yeah. I feel like a lot of child labor. Whoa, 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 whoa. We, we, we respect the Geneva Convention. Um, what does Alex do? That's, that's what they're asking. What do I do? Um, all kinds of stuff. Alex does all whatever, kinds of stuff. Whatever people need. I'm a fixer. Alex made eggs yesterday. They were good. It, the secret is butter. Respectfully, one question. Why wear shades indoors? She had eye surgery. On Monday, I had uh, eye implants. They're called Evo ICL. It's an implanted columnar lens. She can now see in infrared. It's, they, okay, they do have UV, so that is that is a nice feature. I have permanent Wait. sunglasses on. Well, they have UV protection? Yeah, yeah. Does that matter? Yeah. UV is, like, bad for your eye? Yeah, it is. Interesting. Okay, 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 well, I don't want to be spreading fake news. Is that what they still call it? We spread lots of misinformation on this stream. <laughs> okay. It's a, it's a wonder UV Twitch has a canvas, is yeah. It's probably fine for your eyes. They, they just threw that in here. Um, I see. Let's see. Is Lana Lux streaming? We'll, we'll raid Lana Lux and then we'll go. Does anyone have any questions about 
implantable lenses. I'm now an advocate. No, no, not streaming. Do they have any questions? Um, oh. Oh, alternative facts. That's what they're calling them now. Alternative facts? Is Sky Breon? Oh, is Sky Breon? Is she streaming right now? Maybe they just put a hole in your eye. It's very small and they give you a, a lens. No, Sky Bree's normal. offline. We would raid Sky Bree, though. Bud, you don't have any other friends? No. Should we, should we find a Twitch channel to raid? Should we find a Twitch channel to raid? I don't know. We can't vouch for their content. You know what I mean? Let's just look real quick. What are people? What are people even streaming these days? Anything good in the science and technology category? I don't know, man. Uh, all right, Alex is very antsy. Wait, Go it's get... forever. The gla the eyes are forever. They tell you it's as forever. As long as I live. They tell you it's forever. Nothing's forever. It's a permanent implant. Have you heard life. about the heat death of the universe? I got my first implants. <laughs> Have you heard about the heat death of the universe? How sure are you about the heat death of the universe? Who'd you, who'd you raid? Nobody. Oh, well, we went, we went black over there. I don't know what happened. A hot tub stream? I had a good hot tub stream. All right, all right. We, we looked. Uh, you looked? Yeah, we looked. We don't know anyone on stream right now. All right. None of my Twitch mutuals are on stream right now. So we... Assuming you could broaden your horizons. Alex, this isn't a good time for that. Okay, okay. We can broaden our horizons <laughs> offline. Would you want a stand-up comedian broadening their horizons online and making shit up? No, because it'll be bad. Even after heat death, there'll be cosmic background radiation. Okay. Uh, radiation is forever. Yeah, all right. Look, at, look, at, look, look, Alex is standing up because she's eager to go get a sandwich. Is that true? Raid Bob Ross. Do they still stream Bob Ross? Is that still going? Today's plans. George and I are going to work, guys. Life is work. Rate of thirst check. All right. Uh, yeah, UMR. Who? Wow. Why didn't we just? Uh, like, I don't. What? How do we even interpret this? How do we? We need to like bring things full circle. We need the denouement. Okay. Why didn't they just tell me that this? The, the Gwen. I think so it's weird. an important reminder that the internet is a vast and large place, just like the actual physical world. And sometimes Burundi. it can take a long time to find something. What did you open with? Like, I googled multiple times AMD GPU registers. I asked Claude. What actually shows up when you Google that? How many pages deep was the answer? ISA documentation, developer documentation, these registers, AMD GPU driver, AMD GPU driver, AMD GPU hardware basics. Oh, I forgot they're infinite scroll. Google is infinite scroll? Oh, let's make this a little smaller. <clears throat> like, maybe you'll click something like this. It's all about the registers that are like, Student GitHub is downranked. No, I just think that it's not searchable by this. Why not? Well, like, I tried a whole bunch of different things that kind of looked like that. Hmm. Um, tried like Navi 31. Just get that. Google is just so useless. I think the lesson here is that maybe it's. I mean, you get you get this. Should, should we try DuckDuckGo? I don't think DuckDuckGo is going to be better. That's not even a GPU. People complaining about register pressure. I like AMD Wikipedia. <laughs> oh, LinkedIn, AMD LinkedIn, important. Yeah, right? Like, this is trash. Why don't search engines work? Nice GPU register documentation. I think, All right, I then you like you go to like developer documentation. I've looked in here. I've looked at these GPU open docs. I've looked at their blogs. I looked at that so Radeon profiler. AMD didn't promote anywhere a link to, to GitLab. Is that what you said it was? No. Yeah, I mean, I think this is just a reminder that there's a lot of stuff that can't be seen on the internet. Like eventually, you have to search for UMR.
but also like again even if I had briefly saw something called UMR, I wouldn't have thought that all the registers were just in there. I thought that the debuggers used like... Do you are over-reliant on search engines for getting information? Dude, I bet there's like great shit on the internet. Try perplexity? All right, let's try perplexity. AMD GPU register documentation. Mm. ISA that is, is there ISA? No, but see, it's not the ISA. Is there register docs for 7900 XTX? The register documentation can be found in the official AMD Radeon XTX graphic card quick setup guide. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I think this is a bigger issue about uh, the shadows of the internet. I'm pretty sure I did some GitHub searches on this. Like, this was just not... Wow, search engines just don't work. Yeah, I mean, I think that's a really big takeaway here. Like, a terrifying takeaway. Yeah. Especially if you consider like any kind of ranking in Google that be, being like somewhat time based too. Like the old internet's just not even accessible. I, I all, yeah, I feel like this stuff used to be way <laughs> better. I feel like it's just really hard to find things today. Time to bring back Hammer. All right, that's a good one to, that's a good thing to leave on. <laughs> hammer, my search engine. Mm, you know about Hammer? I know about Hammer. Yeah. Are you sick of search engines returning news, ads, and SEO spam when you wanted information? If this is you, you need a Hammer. The world needs a Hammer. Do you know what our mission is? To organize the world's information and make it accessible to anyone who pays Hammer $30 a month. You know what our motto is? Don't be evil. And if we ever remove this motto, it's because we are evil now. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta, you gotta, you gotta understand the failures of your predecessors. <laughs> wow. Um, better search, better result, hammer. Oh, but unfortunately, multiple people applied to work at Hammer, but we were only hiring for one role, and it was the founder of Hammer. Oh no. So yeah, they didn't really read. Um, wow. I mean, it's just like such a bleak discovery. It's just going to be a black green cow for me all day. I'm going to think about this. No, just how terrible. I mean, when when we had that, that legal issue and I wanted to do more search, like I just couldn't find anything. And I was so frustrated. Which with, with issue? The, with the taxes. With the money. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Just... We, we solved it. Don't worry, guys. Don't we worry. Won. Don't worry. Don't but, worry, don't worry, you know. But I, there just wasn't any information, and I asked our lawyers, like, can we make this, can, how do we make this more public Wait. so people can find this but, stuff? But, 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 okay, all right, conspiracy theory, guys. They're keeping good search engines from us. Because then when we... Do you think the government has a good search engine? N I don't know. No, I don't. Do you don't. think they use Google? No. No, yeah, I think so. I don't think the government has a good search engine. I'm just saying, like, do you think they can search their own content? Google has let us down so much. Yeah, yeah. Perplexity is good. Perplexity is, is working on the right way. What do you think when we when we did that Freedom of Information Act for you? Yeah. Well, how do you think they got all the data on you? Like, where'd they go? How'd they do that? When you do a FOIA request, like, how do they you probably search have the government like, documents? They probably have, like, a crappy, Control like... Control F? They probably, they probably, like, pay some <laughs> shitty contractor a ton of money to run Elasticsearch on a cloud. How much do you think that costs the government? Have I tried binging the AMD regs? What do you mean? Oh, binging! Oh! <laughs> binging? binging? I didn't even know that was an herb. Alright, hey, do, do you want to try bing? We'll, well try the it. government uses bing. The government uses Biden Bing. Uses edge. <laughs> oh my God! Wait. Oh, this is so beautiful. Wait, this is the worst 
sight I've ever seen. What do you mean? Look at these okay. birds. Okay. So first off, things are fucking moving. There's large birds down here. I'm hearing about dead sailors, abortions, Denise cheating. A picture of Kamala Harris Wait, and sorry. frozen in time. A picture of a tire. Train is coming. And <laughs> one is killed, coming. one injured in attack. With a <laughs> is that Yahoo? What do you see? Yeah, it's, it's no news. That's the vibe. The vibe is Yahoo. <laughs> yeah. We're going to use Yahoo categories? Bing, Bing is got boomer energy for sure. <laughs> This is this is the worst. No wonder nobody uses big. MSN News is wild. I do agree that MSN <laughs> News reminds me of like a tabloid at the grocery store. Like a UFO spotted. U- UFO spotted him. Um, I've never tried Yandex. Can we even use Yandex? I don't know. What, wait, what if Yandex is good? Finds everything. AMD GPU register dock 7900 XTX. Should we bring back Alta Vista? Okay. Uh, no, 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 no. Does anyone remember Dogpile? Uh, let's check out. Maybe the Russian websites are good. Yeah, Dogpile. That was the best. search? I didn't even know they had search. No mentions of UMR on this Russian website. Oh, Whoa, well, this is actually pretty cool. What is it? The Russian site to review. Mm, they put all that in that one chip. <laughs> wow, if our search in English is bad, do you think it's really bad for other languages too? Oh, sorry. We didn't actually use Bing. We got distracted sorry, by its terribleness. IXBT? I don't know that. Oh, IXBT? Okay. Uh, that makes sense. No, it's, it's like Russian. Oh, I, I tried to click the next button, but I almost accidentally clicked on chat. And who? I don't know. Who do we chat with? Let's find out. <laughs> no. No GitLab links anywhere. I, there's a maybe there's still a whole. Um. Oh, here we have fine. We accept the terms of service. Okay. Uh, no, I want register docs. What's yonder? Before proceeding, make sure you have the serial number and part number. And people think LLMs are smart. Like, LLMs are so dumb. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They know very specific things and you have to use them in very specific ways. It's kind of like your parents. I don't know. <laughs> like, like, like can, we have a, can we have a game show? It'll be cheap to put on, but we have an LLM and a Burundi. Like, who, who, what's more expensive, GBD4 or a Burundian? To do what? More expensive to do what? To generate tokens. Oh. Please, Try taggy.com. All right. Oh, I heard about this. I need an account. Wait, that's insane. No ads. Fast and personalized results. I hate this web page. It's a search engine you deserve. I know it's bad. I actually feel like that's a mean thing to say. Yeah, <laughs> it's a search engine you deserve. <laughs> you deserve this. Um... I'm gonna try it now. It was better last year. Bug no, me not. I'm not even gonna. If I if I have to go to bug me not. Sorry, Kagi. Wait, but what if we actually made a good search engine? We could be trillionaires. I'm gonna fix search. <laughs> um. <laughs> Where have I heard that before? <laughs> uh, uh, no, no, I'm kidding, guys. I'm kidding. <laughs> um, if AMD is excited, we can write a fuzzer. And they, if, if AMD agrees to open source their firmware sometime in the next year, let's write a fuzzer. We'll sell the tiny box reds. We have register documentation. 
Do you want feds? Wait, you can't make a good search anymore. The feds will come. Wait, why? I don't need a good bunch of good working AMD GPUs. We're going to use NVIDIA to build search. When you're serious, use NVIDIA. If you're a masochist, use AMD. I'm just thinking how our search engine will be better. Um, how would they have gotten you the results you wanted? It would have, like, thought about it. Wait, what? <laughs> okay, how? In the same way you did as a person? No, we're going to sell... We'll slowly sell some tiny box reds, too, but we don't have to sell any GPUs. That's nice, at least. We do have to send the two broken ones back, though. Find is good with a P? Find. Copilot finds if you ask for register debugger. Oh, yeah, okay. If I knew to... Well, yeah, because it's called... I, I've never... another ad for Taggy. I have never heard the phrase register debugger before in my life. Search with reason. How will we keep the lights on without ads? I mean, I would, the same way that, you know, open air, I would charge $10. Taggy is pretty good. No, I have to sign up. I would pay $10. Well, we'll, have, we'll, have, we'll, we'll have the free tier. Mm -hmm. We'll have the free tier where it tells you that it knows the answer and it gives you half of it. And then below the fold, you have to pay to unlock. I hate that. I hate when they, they It's just... so much better than Kagi, which entirely just paywalls me. Yeah, Perplexity is a nice model. Uh, I should sign up for Perplexity. Kagi charges ten dollars a month. Ten dollars a month's fine. It's just that that website. Don't they know that, that website's awful. Make an account is terrible. They yeah. should at least let you do five free searches. Let me do. Yeah. Chegg. Wait, Chegg. Is this where Wait. you buy books? This is the worst thing I've seen. I've never heard. Oh, no, no. Yeah, I've actually looked at this before too. Oh, search, free search, but get paid back times. Brilliant idea. Yo, what an idea! <laughs> oh, you were kidding about Chegg. Oh, how is Claude? Claude is as good as GPT four was when it came out because Anthropic hasn't realized that it cost them too much to run and they need to run the shitty quantized version that gives you listicles all the time. Mm, They'll figure wow, it out. Wow, listicles. They'll figure it out. We just no listicle and then what? I'm saying like the listicle. No, website. like rags are a disaster. Uh, these these are people things are people are excited about these like retrieval augmented graphs. Man, what's that? He's like, they're like these, like, this is like crappy LLM hybrid search thing. Let me see who that is. Make a search engine that also searches dark websites. Yeah, I don't know. I don't spend enough time, like, on the dark web. I need mean, to just get off the, like, internet internet. It's total trash. But yeah. I Why am I on the internet right now talking to you guys? I liked that story about the guy who ran the dark web drug dealing site and then extorted everyone. We mean? told everyone that he was uh, deleting all the information, that it was private, and then he was like, ha oh, yeah. just kidding, pay wait. me if you don't want me to reveal your address and wait, information. Wait, wait. This is going to be Google's business model in 10 years. Yeah. Right? Like, Google Google is going to just, Google is going to get into the blackmail business. Like, Google, do, do you want, do, here, we're going to release your entire location history for the last 10 years. Also, we're going to uh, post what kind of porn you're into. Unless you sign up for a Google a Google Plus account and affirm your commitment to Super DEI. <laughs> <laughs> I de-googled my life and it was not easy. If you start writing PGP, you get banned instantly. I mean, Google is an abusive relationship. If Google is an abusive we relationship. Apple's an abusive. We need to break free from abusive relationship. AMD debugging docs incoming. Oh, let's see. Wait, is this a recent? What is this? Something. I don't know. Whatever. All right, guys. Um. Yeah, site listfreedesktops.org. I should have just looked on this mailing list. I. I don't know. I've gotten kind of bad at using the internet now. No, 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 no. They've atrophied everyone. Like I used to be better at this, though. Maybe it just is that the revealing characteristic that you didn't you didn't search hard enough. I just didn't think it was open source. 
I, I, I promise you, if someone had told me it was open source, I definitely would have found it with like, you know, 30 minutes to an hour of work. I just didn't believe it was. But how would you have known? I mean, I just had to assume. If someone said like, you know, it's, it, it, it is open source on the internet, not leaks. Can you, you have an hour, go find it. Well, of course I'd find that. Is this like the new GeoGuessr? But like, the problem, like you don't know what you're looking for. And yeah. you don't realize how much is hidden from you. I think that's the truth. We don't really realize how much is hidden from us. I mean, so I, I saw a good tweet about this. Like again, uh, for those of you that don't know, uh, when you go to images and you search for French jokes, right? Uh, so memes about groups of people may be disturbing or hurtful. Uh, the thing about the thing that really Gemini revealed was not that like Google can can't make an AI that generates pictures of white people. What it revealed was that Google search is neutered in all sorts of ways you can't believe either. Yeah. I mean, I literally asked the company and they couldn't tell me. I, I know. Well, yeah, but that that aside. No. I mean, I guess, again, I didn't like... Why people jokes? It's not about, you know, I'm not trying to like, I'm not making a racial, racial point here. The interesting thing about French jokes <laughs> is French jokes can also refer to jokes in the French language. Yeah. That's why I thought that one was the most interesting. Um, we don't have perspectives tab. Okay, but these jokes are cute. I've never even seen this. Wait, what's perspectives tab? I don't know, just like the war tab on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> um, what was that? I don't think I've seen the perspectives tab. Why, won't, why can't we explore it? I don't, I'm not exploring. They're programming your mind, man. I need to just, I need to block Google, block Twitter, and block Twitch. Sorry, guys. 